Hello friends, welcome back. On One Photo Raw 2024.5, their mid-year update is here today, and it's amazing. It's got some fantastic features in it. They've updated their Super Select AI masking tool to make it easier and more precise. They've updated Quick Mask AI, another powerful masking tool, to make it quicker and more precise. There's loads of performance enhancements and things like that, not to mention all the other amazing features in this product. Brilliance AI, all the different filters, all the layers capability, the denoising capability, the sharpening capability, lots of different AI bits of functionality. And this product is, honestly, it's fantastic. I love it. And it only gets better, of course, with each update. So if you already own a copy of Photo Raw 2024, it's a free update. If it's not, the 2024.5 update is available on their website. There's a link down below. Note that it is an affiliate link, which means they'll pay me a small referral fee if you use that link. It's no extra cost to you. It's a free way for you to give me some support. And of course, I'll be here making videos about it. Speaking of videos about it, let's get into it. I want to talk first about Super Select AI. So I've got a photo here. I've already made a couple of adjustments using just Brilliance AI. So I started like that and I'm now like that. And what I want to do is target some specific areas to make specific adjustments. And this, that's what masking is all about. It gives you that power and the control and Super Select has gotten better and more precise. So what you can do is uh, Super Select AI is right there. You can just click on that, or as you can see, you can just hit K on your keyboard. That's what I'll do. I'll hit K. I'm now in that menu. And so what it'll do first is analyze the image. And as you hover over different areas, you'll see that it'll highlight them in blue. You just click it to select it. And so what I want to do is isolate some things. Now what's new and updated about this feature is it's more precise and gives you a lot more targeted control over specific and small areas. So in the past, if I wanted to get like the grass separate from the sand, it was a bit hard for that to identify because it was just identifying larger areas. But now I can come in and as I hover, I can get that bit of sand. I can get that bit of sand. And notice it's also grabbing this sand up over in here. And now uh, if I want to get the grass, let's say, I'm just getting the grass. So there's a lot more targeted control and all it's doing is making things easier for you. So if you're newer to either photo editing or masking or both, your ability to produce better looking images just skyrockets with this. And that's what this is all about. So uh, all you do is you hover. I'm gonna go ahead and grab the entire grass. Notice that I also can just isolate and get small sections of the grass. That's pretty cool. But I love the fact that it's picking out the sand and not getting that. So I'm just going to click and choose that. I'm going to right click and I'm going to add the sunshine filter. And all I want to do is give this a little bit of pop. So I've isolated that grass. I'm going to come in here and give it some warmth and some brightening and maybe a little bit more saturation. You can see here in the masking window that the mask has been identified. Remember, white reveals, black conceals. So my edit is applying just to the grass. And you can tell that's probably a little bit much, but I'm doing it a little heavier. So it's easier to see on the video. But if I turn that off before and turn it back on after. Now, let's say I want to do some things to the sky. There's the sky right click and I'll go to color enhancer. And all I want to do is uh, open that filter. You see it's creating the mask. It's isolated the sky for me. There's the sky mask. And what I want to do is make it a little cooler, a little bit more saturated, a little bit more vibrant, a little bit more tint to it. And so if you look at the before, there it is, a little bit flatter and the after, a little bit more color, but not a lot. So we're going to do a couple of more things to the sky. I'm going to come over here again and I'm going to right click after I highlight that. And this time I'm going to dynamic contrast. Now you could also copy and paste the mask, but honestly, you don't really have to because this is so quick. It actually saves you time. So if in the past, like if you create complicated masks for small areas, you'd have to copy and paste or I would recommend copy and pasting just because it was easier. But now super select because it's so quick and accurate, you don't really have to do that. Um, I added dynamic contrast to this guy and I'm just going to take all three of these to the left, make them negative. That's just because I like smoother skies. That's a nice, easy and quick way to do it. But now that I'm done with that, I'm going to get the sky again, right click. And this time I'm going to add that sunshine filter to the sky as well. It's a great tool and one that I like quite a bit to just add a little bit of pop a little bit of excitement in uh, in certain areas. It's just giving a nice little look to that sky. So if you look at the before, there it is, a little bit darker, that sort of thing. And now after, a little bit more sunshine and trying to match it a little bit more at the grass. Again, I probably went a little heavy on the grass, but hopefully it stands out a little bit better for you. And the last thing I want to do is just isolate the sand. So I'm going to get that and I just click on it. I'm going to get this sand and click on that. And now that I've isolated and selected both of those, right click, dynamic contrast again one of my favorite tools in on one it creates the mask 
See how quick and easy I was able to isolate that sand. And now I'm going to come in here and I'm going to do the same thing I did in the sky, which is just remove the detail and just soften it up simply to make it a little bit smoother looking like the wind had been blowing over it and cover up a little bit of some of the footsteps. So if you look at the before, a lot crisper sand and now a lot smoother sand. Uh, and so maybe not that much, but the point is I'm able to really come in quickly and easily isolate different areas. I'm gonna hit Z to get out of masking. Hit uh, isolate different areas quickly and easily, and I can get a finished photo in really no time at all using masking, because masking allows you to target and be very specific with your edits. I can control my image and get a result that I like. So before and after, quick, easy, that's super select AI. I love it. Now I wanna show you the update to Quick Mask AI. Okay, Quick Mask AI, in the past, if you recall, or if you've used this tool, and if you don't, I'll explain it real quick. But what you used to have to do is paint with a green uh, a mouse that would uh, paint it in green to basically select an area, and then paint over or change your mouse to non-select, if you will, and that was in red. And so it took a little bit of work because you were outlining things and kind of going around and highlighting areas, but using very similar technology to Super Select AI, Quick Mask AI allows you to do that much more rapidly. So I have a stock photo portrait here. Let's say I wanna add a texture. I'm gonna go ahead and apply that texture. But of course, when you apply texture, it's laying across the entire photo. Well, I don't wanna texture across a young lady's face. It doesn't really look right. So what I wanna do is go into the masking menu, which is over here. You can click on that. And then in the drop down, or you can hit W on your keyboard, you get to this Quick Mask AI brush. I'm gonna go ahead and select that and it analyzes the image. And then I come over here and look at that. It found the background. I'm gonna go ahead and click highlight that. And then I click the check mark to say, okay. And what it's gonna do is render that mask just into the background. And as you can see, it's no longer covering the model. So that is quick mask AI. I mean, it's literally quick. Uh, and of course it's masking with AI. It's super powerful and super just easy to use. And then maybe you come in and further dress up this photo. Maybe I'll add a LUT to give it a little bit of style. Something like, you know, maybe we'll use this color pop blue just to give a completely different look to the photo. But you can see with Quick Mask AI, I used to have to paint that in or in the old days use layers and lots of blending and masking. And now it's so easy and so quick. So starting out before with this stock photo portrait, which looks great, but the background was kind of boring. I wanted to give it a little bit of uh, oomph, if you will. And now I apply a little bit of texture, change the tones, and that was... I don't know, 15 seconds of work if I wasn't talking. So that's the power and control that you have with On One. It's just fantastic and amazing. Now, I wanna show you one other tool. It came out a little bit earlier this year, but I love this update and I wanna show you how it works. Okay, the tool that I'm talking about is Color Balance. They updated that a little bit earlier this year. So it's of course included in this mid-year update. But I have a sunset here, and one of the things I like to do with sunsets is dress up the colors a little bit, you know, surprise, right? Now this photo started like that, right? And what I did is with Super Select AI, I quickly made a bit more of a silhouette in the foreground, and I did a little bit in the sky. So really basic and simple adjustments that took me a few seconds thanks to Super Select AI, which we covered with that first photo. But that was how I started, that's how it is. And what I wanna talk about now is color balance, and they updated this. Now, if you use this tool in the past, it used to have these sliders that you would just move for the different tonal areas. It isolates mid-tones, highlights, and shadows, as you can see here with these color wheels. And of course, the update is these color wheels, a little bit more modern approach, but it's really easy to use. And of course, it's a very powerful tool for making adjustments to colors, right? Which is what we're gonna do. So uh, as you highlight over each one, you'll notice right up above where it says mid-tones, as I hover, there's an H, an S, and a B. That's hue, saturation, and brightness. So all three of those are at zero because I've made no adjustments. The same thing will happen. You'll see that uh, all three are kind of faded looking, but when you highlight over one, it brightens up a little bit, and that H, S, B shows up there above where it says mid-tones. By the way, you've also got these other options here, opacity. So if you had too much color, you can back it down. I'm gonna close that. And you've also got these styles where you can come in and that's effectively a color preset. You can apply those. I'm not gonna do that. I'm just gonna show you how this tool works because it's a tool I use a lot and I love it. So I've got this sunset and let's say I wanna add a little bit of warmth in the mid-tones and highlights, a little bit of coolness in the darker shadow areas. Super easy to do with a color balance. So as I said, as you hover, you see the HSB. Now the hue is what shade of color. You can see you can get to the greens, the yellows, that sort of thing. You can get there two ways. You can take this outer uh, circle and just drag it, and you can see that hue is changing uh, as I move around. 
Now you'll see also that this thing uh, moved. Now I need to go back to where that's in the middle, uh, but my hue is at 11. So let's say that's a little bit warm, which is pretty good. Now you can get there two ways, like I said. The first way is moving that outer circle, but you can also just quickly grab the center circle and just drag it toward whatever color you want. Now that's the saturation slider, but it also gives you the ability to freely move around. So I tend to do that instead of using the outer circle, just because it's kind of doing two things at once. It's giving me the hue and the saturation. So let's say I wanna go over here, get a little bit of warmth in those highlights. But hey, Jim, you mentioned B is brightness. Where's the brightness? Well, that's what this slider is down below. So as I drag that, you'll see the brightness value, the B going up. So I'm increasing the brightness in the midtones. I also adjusted the hue and saturation. So that's how this works, right? So with shadows, I might go a little bit bluer, uh, maybe something like that, and maybe a little bit darker to create a little bit more color contrast. And of course, in the highlights, I wanna pick up more of that warmth. So I'm gonna go over here towards maybe some of these pinker colors. And I don't have a particular plan with this photo. I'm mostly showing how it works. Maybe I wanna go a little bit brighter, but you can see how that works. It's really powerful, it gives you amazing control. And that was an update earlier this year with these color wheels but it's really intuitive design and quick and easy. So if you look at the before, there it is, no adjustments with color balance, and after, there it is, with some adjustments in color balance. And so that's how that works, super powerful for adjusting the hue, the saturation, and the brightness level in any of the different tonal areas, highlights, midtones, and shadows. Great for sunsets, great for a lot of things, really. I use it quite often on sunsets, sunrises, golden hour, any of the edge of the day, even blue hour, any of those edge of the day kind of scenes where you've got soft light and some nice color and you want to accentuate things great tool for that that's how that works and that's included of course in this mid-year update even though this particular feature was updated a little uh, maybe a few months ago so that's a quick high level tour of a couple of the new things that are in on one photo raw 2024.5 the mid-year update i love it it's fantastic it's a great tool i'll be back with more videos Again, a free update if you already own the 2024 version. And if not, affiliate link down below that gives me a little bit of support, as I mentioned earlier. Thanks for watching, my friends. I really appreciate you. I'll be back soon with more videos. If you have any questions, leave them down below. I'll see you soon, and take care. And until next time, my friends, adios.